Today, I bought the LEGO Star Wars Knights of Ren transport ship. Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today I got the Knights of Ren transport set. Now this is a set I've been wanting to get for a while, it came out in 2020, it comes with a 595 pieces, three minifigures, uh, 75284, obviously ages 9 and up, uh, and retails for $60, which is pretty okay, uh, and I want to get into all of it, but before we do, I would like you all to smash that like button, and we will get right on into it with the box. So, first off, here is the Knights of Ren transport ship box art. Obviously, the ship is on Pasana. Uh, now, you'd obviously, in the movie, you usually see Rey jumping over Kylo Ren ship, but obviously, this is not Kylo Ren ship. Uh, you get a depiction of them fighting. You get the Vader, you know, design in the top, which is very confusing. I don't know why they didn't do the Kylo Ren version for this set. Obviously, that would have worked much better. Uh, very confusing uh, and then you will move it around and you will get obviously a good look again at Pasana You get a look at all the features and that sort of stuff And then you do move it to the side and they still are consistent with the side box art again You guys know I love this for those who watch my reviews and now let's move into the instructions So here are the instructions obviously you get your QR code you get all of that you get a look at all the builds And then we're gonna flip to the back so you guys can see the advertising type stuff And also I believe you're supposed to get something from this for the the Star Wars game, the 2021 that did not come out in 2020, or apparently 2021. Uh, 2022 is when this one will be coming out. Uh, and this is obviously the only real sequel set, other than if you want to count this guy, uh, but, but I don't really count the ITS transport. Obviously, you get the back of the manual. Now, let's take a look at the minifigs. So our first minifigure up is going to be Ray Palpatine. Yes, people, it is Ray Palpatine. Uh, but anyway, here obviously is her blue lightsaber. Obviously, that is Luke's lightsaber. And this is a great figure. While not exclusive to this set, obviously, it came out the summer or the winter wave before. Uh, it is still great looking, obviously. It looks kind of nice. You get the white all around. You obviously get the white back printing, obviously, which looks very, very nice. And then you also do get this more stern looking face. Obviously, again, the return to her Force Awakens hairpiece, uh, which I found kind of weird. I don't know why they went back to that one. Uh, but either way, it obviously very, very cool minifigure that I really, really kind of like. Uh, now let's move into the next one. Next up, we have a cool one by the name of Kuruk, or Kuruk, uh, on the box. It just calls them Knight of Ren. Uh, but either way, he's very cool, obviously. We get all these awesome features, uh, or little details. You do get all of his little hood. You get a little blaster. Obviously, the big draw of these guys uh, is their helmet pieces. They are exclusive to each of the characters and we'll probably never ever see them again uh, but it still looks cool obviously he does get some back printing nothing insane but that is still pretty cool now let's move into the next one so next up we have a guy by the name of cardo again not fantastic with these names but either way cardo obviously comes with his big boy gun uh, i don't know what he's supposed to do with it but he is pretty cool and obviously you do get those little thermal detonators strapped up there and you also do get some missiles or whatever down there i, I don't know and again back printing again the helmet absolutely stunning i love it it is beautiful a great minifigure a fantastic minifigure now i think it is time we move into the build so, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Night Buzzard. Now, I would like to work from front to back with this model and just take a good look at it because I just built this the other day. Sadly, we have no hyperlapse for this one as I built it on a holiday. Uh, so, you know, I was busy. Uh, but either way, I'd like to start at the front. So here, obviously, is the front. You get this little grill piece. Uh, obviously, a little loose. Uh, I, that hadn't actually happened to me before, so maybe that's less of a common occurrence than you well, maybe just wasn't pushed in enough. And then, obviously, these little parts are put, held together by Technic pins. We have the laser blasters. Uh, and then over here, obviously, we do have the side compartment or the side panel, uh, which is all nice and detailed. And the way to use the uh, flick fire is actually there's a little pin right here. And you shoot that off, uh, which is really cool. And then I will show you guys briefly on the underside, there is a little mechanism uh, that it works that way. So you could basically just, you know, press it and this will press and then the flick fire will go out. The same mechanism applies for the other side. And then over here, there is obviously a little bit of a stand that holds uh, the build, which is really cool. And we also even get one of those in the back. And you guys know how these go back in. We just kind of place it right on in. It clips in just fine and dandy. 
Same kind of deal with the other side. It is nearly identical. And then we're going to move to the side over here. We do get some beautiful piping. I love the way this looks. They really nailed this. They do it on both sides and it just looks great. Now we'll move over to the engines. The engines are back here, obviously two separate builds that really kind of just nail down what an engine would look like. You get the rounded off areas and a great use of those pieces. I really like that they did do that. Now I think it is time to check out the top half of the build. So first off, we have our first major compartment and to access this, all you have to do is lift up this little blaster here and then lift that up. And like so, you do have a little area to sit down one of your Knights of Ren. Now they cannot sit you know, with their weapons on hand, but this is one of the little interior places. And then you could just kind of close it if you lean them back and sit them down properly. It's a little difficult. You could also technically fit, you know, storage in here, uh, but it does fit, it does work. And then if you want to close that up, you could kind of just cover it. Uh, but for the sake of this video, you know, we don't need to do that. Uh, now moving on anyway, there is a little cap. And these remind me very much of the ones in the new Grief Karga's, you know, Imperial Havoc Marauder. And you could basically have your guys sit in here and he could basically take control. Now the thing that's interesting about this set, there's not one of these, but two. The second one back here, obviously, you could just lift on up. And like so, you can have him stand in the entrance, obviously, which is really, really cool. And I really, really appreciate on behalf of the entire team at LEGO. Uh, and, you know, you do get these two guys. It looks a little derpy, uh, but it does make sense in the end. And then again, you could obviously close that hatch and you do get an area for uh, that little dish there. Now, I would like to get out the rest of my Knights Ren and see what they look like with this. Now here are all of the ones I own. I think I am missing one, if not two, uh, but I think this really is a set for all of them. I think it was great that Lego made all of these characters, no matter how obscure they were in the movie. Uh, and obviously again, we have Kylo over there, uh, but they will go along really nicely with this set. And I'm gonna see if I pack all of mine into the ship just because why not? And, and, and you know, it, they look cool together. You have to admit. So it was not easy, but we do have these two guys in here, and then we have the two guys in here. Now, let's get into how I got this set for $5, and then we will also go into my full thoughts on this set. Okay, guys, so right off the bat, I'm just going to give this set a flat number, and it is going to be 6 out of 10. This is, obviously, you guys know I am not a huge prequels or sequels guy, rather. Uh, not my favorite movies. I think the ship looks kind of cool, like from a design perspective, but it's just not like the first thing I'd get on shelves. This isn't even the 10th thing I, I'd really get on the shelves. The only reason I got this is because I kind of just want to complete the summer wave of last year uh, in terms of getting all those sets, and I think it would look kind of nice next to my Kylo Ren's, uh, you know, transport or Kylo Ren ship or whatever. Uh, but I will say a small thing that I know a lot of people have been complaining about, and I'll throw it out there too. Uh, we have Darth Vader at to up the top here, uh, why? I, I don't know. Uh, it should be Kylo Ren, but but hey, uh, I don't even know, man. Uh, but yeah, so I was able to actually get this for $5 on Mercari, which was great. I had about a $40 credit, offered like 42 and then, you know, after taxes and shipping, whatever, it ended up coming to about $5, which I thought was pretty good, uh, and I really think I nailed home. Do you guys think I did a good deal with this one? I want to hear. Uh, so again, 6 out of 10, not fantastic. If I had to recommend... Uh, yeah, you could, you could get it if it's something that you were interested in by this video. But the figures overall aren't super exciting unless you want to collect all the Knights of Ren. And if you do have all the Knights of Ren other than these two, go ahead, get it. Because that would be a pretty cool thing to have their ship and you have all of them. They could sit in it or whatever. That, that would be cool. I'm missing one still, so I might have to get the Tide Dorito set. Uh, in order to finish that off. Uh, but yeah, so with that said, I will see you guys all in the next one. Those are my thoughts on this 75284. Uh, you know, not a crazy, crazy set, but I still wanted to take a review and look at it. Uh, and this video probably isn't even going to break a thousand views as much as I hate to admit. Just not a popular set. Uh, but with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome. Mm -hmm.